little Timmy sat in the nursery, stacking cubes on top of one another. Balancing them was an art, he announced, with a scream and a shriek, maniacally waving to his mother across the room. Look, mummy, look what I have made, he would have said if he could speak. He was building a castle, one unlike any ever built before, walls as high as mountains and gates as wide as oceans. Inside the castle was an action man. He sat in the middle with his AK-47, king of the castle. But little Timmy was running out of blocks to build his castle. He glanced over at Sally, who was only using pink blocks. Timmy couldn't use pink blocks. What was this, some sort of castle for women? It was a man's castle, a war castle. Walls adorned with heads on spikes, brothels foaming with ale and whores, spilling drunks into the streets at night. Fuck pink blocks, he thought to himself as he marched past slapping Sally on the back of the head. Silly little bitch, he thought to himself. Sally's mother was too busy drinking her latte to notice her child's pain, and Timmy kept walking over to Jake's play area. He pushed Jake to assert his authority. Jake fell onto his soft buttocks, exclaiming a short oofed. Timmy pointed at his blocks, explaining in a simple hand gesture that he was going to take them for himself. Jake crawled over and lay across his blocks, protecting them like a mother badger protecting her offspring. Timmy grabbed Jake by the ear and punched him in the side of the head. Jake, in all of the commotion, had grabbed object from the ground, turned and threw it straight at Timmy's face. The sponge racing car bounced off his head as he laughed and stared Jake down once more. Jake saw evil in his eyes, the sort of evil that would make any other baby poop their pants. There were three little ducklings connected by a string next to him. They were made of wood, strong and deadly. He picked them up by the long end and swung the little ducks round, screaming his little child lungs out. He inched closer to Timmy, who was backing away now. Timmy tripped on a fire engine, landing on his back, with Jake standing atop him with ducks swinging wildly round his head. No! said Jake. Timmy was crippled with fear. He had never heard a baby talk before. Then came the bell for nap time. A short truce for now. Timmy would never try and steal Jake's blocks again. And after lunch, he proceeded to tie Sally up with a skipping rope and steal all her pink blocks. Such is the way of life in the ruthless baby play zone type thing. The end.